Hi folks, it's Charles. I'm the product developer here at the home of the BioBlaster Ozone Machine, green bed bug removal, and so much more. Today we're here to continue in our series of examining our competitors' equipment and showing you exactly what's under the lid so that you can't be caught in confusing hype and claims. I don't have any bones to pick with any of my competitors. In fact, I hope that uh, someday I have the opportunity to learn from one of them and develop better machines for us. Today we're going to go over the industrial odor-free purifier from odor-free machines. So uh, I've decided to start adding to my collection and we're going to be buying competitors of those machines, taking them apart, putting them through real field data logging and testing so that we can demonstrate exactly what they're capable of achieving in the field in our ozone testing chamber, and then, of course, putting them through our real-world abuse tests like we do our own machines. So today I'm going to open up a brand new, this is unopened, straight from the manufacturer, odor-free machines. We're going to take it out of the packaging, and we're going to put it through its first test in the ozone testing chamber. We'll data log that, uh, the output. Folks, you're looking at the data logged output record of the Villa 1000 from Odor Free Machines. And folks, Odor Free is all over the internet. When you do a search for shock treatments, commercial ozone generators, and odor removal, you're definitely going to come across the Odor Free Machines. And we started a test in our 15 by 15 foot testing chamber at right around uh, 12:45 p.m. And we let that test run till right around 1.45. And folks, in one hour's time, the Villa 1000 was not capable of hitting any higher than, uh, f well, just about five parts per million. And uh, we didn't, five parts per million, folks, uh, actually four and a half parts per million just isn't enough ozone to get to those toxic levels that you need to kill the viruses, the bacteria, the mold, and the mold spores. So um, 
four and a half parts per million. It did have a nice steady climb. It was a little bit more even output uh, than the test that we did with the uh, Genesco machine, but it didn't even get to the five and a half that Genesco did. Uh, four and a half parts per million in an hour. It's really low output. It's not the targeted six parts per million that we want to achieve to kill the viruses, the bacteria, and the mold spores. So, you know, it is a nice little room-by-room -room deodorizer, but it's not by any means a commercial shock treatment machine. These are unadulterated numbers from our test in our 15 by 15 foot ozone testing room of the Villa 100 from Odor Free Machines. Folks, if you're looking to really get high ozone shock treatments, you need to jump into a serious machine, one that's capable of taking it over the 10 part per million threshold uh, to kill those uh, toxic uh, critters. And for Odor, you know, even more sometimes better. So. If you're looking to buy a good ozone generator, check out the data from our home 14,000 or any of the pro lines and you'll see we just rock this right off the charts and uh, these machines really can't uh, carry our machines, uh, you know what, jockstrap I guess you'd say. So the Villa 100, it's an okay little machine for the money, but it's never going to achieve those shock treatment levels. That you need to get to to kill the viruses, the bacteria, the mold, and the mold spores. Hi folks, it's Charles again. I'm the product developer here at the home of the BioBlaster ozone machine. And today we're going to look under the hood of one of the, our popular competitors called the Odor Free Machine. And this model is the Villa 1000 from Odor Free. It's about $400 ozone generator. And in our, we did do, previous to this, uh, tests in our ozone testing chamber. And we were able to record the output results. And, and it didn't come anywhere close to our home unit, which is what I suspected would be the case. We're going to take a look underneath the hood and show you just how this thing is, is actually constructed. And then we'll show you what it looks like to running. We'll put it back together and we'll take it through our strength and durability test. And then we've got the timer and switch. 
Very, very, very basic. You know, a benefit of this machine is they did use uh, bolts uh, down at the bottom to bolt things in place. It seems to be constructed relatively securely, even though it is made out of bent sheet metal. And uh, I believe this machine is made in China, but I'm not sure it says Tallahassee, Florida. Oh, let's zoom right in on that and we'll show you where it's made. It says in great big letters there, folks, made in China. Looking for an American made ozone generator? The odor-free Villa 1000 is not the machine for you. But if you're looking for a cutesy little room-by-room uh, -room machine that will get rid of odors if you have a days to leave it in there, uh, this machine will do it, but it'll never really achieve the high shock treatment levels that are necessary to kill viruses, bacteria, mold, mold spores, and other pests. It'll probably do a good job of getting rid of VOCs. And I guess it's not as sec secure as I thought it was. Uh, this whole mechanism just uh, tilts when the top is off. It's still not a bad machine for the money. $400, you're not getting ripped off. And even though the company's based in Tallahassee, Florida, the manufacturing is someplace else. And that place is China. We can put the cards back in. We'll put the case back on. And then later on, we'll revisit this machine when we get to our strength and durability tests. We'll get this sucker back together and we'll see you when we get to the strength and durability test.